Hey guys, the crowd admin here. Um, so a while back, I made this about a year and a half ago, or about a year and four months, or something like that. Um, I made this channel, the crowd admin, and um, I kind of uh, was. My intention was to make all crowd ad videos, and here's my first video. Um, I just had a bunch of baby crawfish, and, yeah, um, so there's that video, and then a while later, I had some, uh, I got a new crawdad that was still another baby from a friend, and I kept it in a smaller tank because my lar my larger 10-gallon tank, which is right there, um, had fish in it, I didn't want it to die or anything, and then it it actually um, died from this one fish I put in there that I caught at a lake, I thought it would eat it, and it actually get, gave it some kind of fungus or something, and it died, and um, I also have, uh, yeah, and so I haven't made a crawdad video in a long time, because where I live, I'm really not access to them unless so my parents went to a crawfish cook-off or a crawfish cooking contest or something like that and they um act they knew I love crud ads so here's what they got me the dramatic reveal let it focus okay so this is a 10 gallon tank used to be my salamander tank I would use my other 10 gallon tank but it's being used with my guppies my baby guppies which are growing a little bit they're kinda hard to see there's one right there but um, that's another video um, so I have another filter right right there um, I have some some what what are they called uh pool cleaning tubes that um use with a vacuum on the bottom of the pool they they float so i i uh siliconed some rocks to them and now they sink um so i've got four crawdads in here some people call them crawfish or crayfish um and that guy looks cool um so, I have four in here, and you're probably wondering how the heck is he doing that without them killing each other. Um, this is the first North American species that I've caught that doesn't kill each other. They're not very territorial. These ones, I mean, if they bump into each other, they'll kind of raise their claws in the air. Like, this guy right here, he's the most, he's like the most dominant right there. Like, this guy is... He'll raise his arm. He, the whole time we carried him home um, in a bucket, he was raising his arms like as high as he could raise them. He was showing the display of dominance. But he's not the biggest one in here. Um, so I've got those two that you can see, like that one right there. That one. And I also have one that finally figured out that he can use these because. They weren't using these all yesterday when I had them in here. Um, but yeah, there's one in there. You can see his claw. And then my biggest one is right here. There's a nice clean shot of him. He's not dead. He loves this corner for some reason. Like, maybe he'll move later. But yeah, see, he's still moving. He's There's one rock climbing. Gosh, it's hard to see on my camera. It's not that murky. But, that is my crawdad tank. I will update you when I get new supplies for it or new things for it. Maybe we can watch what happens when they bump into each other. Okay, so, sorry about that. Um, so, that little one right over here that was crawling over here, he bumped into the large one and the large one moved away. He's... For how large he is, he's not very dominant. Um, I mean, 
the one that was that I showed you that was in the coconut shell that's in it right now. He just crawled back in it. Um, he's definitely the most dominant. Yeah, it seems like I think the only that one right there and the one in the tube are the only two that actually can fit in the tube. But that kind of shows you. He's actually a really big crawdad. Um, he's about um, yeah, he's almost as tall as he's about as tall as the uh, water height. Or he's he's that long. So thanks for watching my videos, guys. Um, sorry for how long it took for me to explain stuff. Um, it's almost six minutes, so see you next time. This is the Crawdad Man. Bye.